Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to use Sox Protocol with Blazing Proxies into Google Chrome, okay? All right, so first of all, you need to access your dashboard up here. All right, once you've accessed your dashboard and assigned all your IP locations, you'll see something like this, okay? So first of all, you need to select the authorization type. Make sure that authorization type is via IP. Um, Sox will not work on username, password authorization, okay? So it's very important that you select via IP as, author, as, excuse me, as authorization type. All right, so after you've done that, you want to copy and paste your computer's IP address down here, add it, um, and you may need to wait up to 10 minutes for your IP to fully authorize, okay? All right, so my IP has already been authorized for quite some time now, so I'm good to go. All right, another thing. So in, uh, in your dashboard, um, the port number says 3128. However, SOX protocol uses port 1080, okay? So you'll need to manually assign port 1080 into your settings. And also, you need to export your proxies um, along with the port 1080. And I'll show you how to do that too, all right? So we have this export option right here, all right? So I only have USA dedicated proxies, but if you had other types of proxies, you'll see more in this list, okay? So I'll select that, copy the list right here, and then now you want to copy and paste this into your notepad, okay? And then do a find replace function, all right? So after you copy and paste it in your notepad, the proxy list, you want to select edit in this tab up here, replace. All right, so you need to find port 3128 right here and replace it with 1080, okay? Replace all, and you can exit. So right now you can see that you have your proxy list with port 1080, okay? All right, so now I'll show you how to manually assign your proxy IPs along with port number into your Chrome settings, okay? So what you need to do is select your settings into Google Chrome. So your settings for Google Chrome is these three little dots over here, okay? Then you want to go down towards the bottom, select settings. All right. So once you're in your settings page, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, select advanced down here. All right. Scroll a little bit further. Keep going. Okay. So you'll see your system settings right here. And then third one underneath of that is open proxy settings. That's where you want to go. Select open proxy settings. And make sure you're on this page. You want to make sure you're on the connection settings page. Okay. So take note of the screen right here. So it should look something like this. All right. So first, let's copy one of our IPs. So I got my notepad handy right here. All right. Let's copy this first IP. All right. Done that. All right. Now you want to go to your LAN settings. All right. Select your LAN settings. Okay. And then you want to use, you want to make sure um, you have your proxy server setting selected down here. So you want to use a proxy server for your LAN setting. All right. Then you can just leave this blank. All right. So you want to go to advanced. Next, you want to go to advanced right here. And then all you need to do is uh, input your proxy and the port number just into SOX right down here. Okay. Don't, you don't need to worry about any of these up top. All right, so copy, paste your IP, and then manually assign port 1080. Okay, select OK. Okay, then OK. All right, so now you can be sure. What is my IP? All right, as you can see, the IP showed up. Um, if you have any other questions, just let us know.